I'm Gina Guns with Witchy Girl Tarot, and right now I'm going to be doing a general reading for our Pisces friends. From the day that you're watching it until February 15th, 17th, I also want you to keep in mind if you see this video, if you stumble upon it in a year from now and it resonates with you, I believe that spirit brought you here for a reason and the message that you need to hear is in this video, okay? So it may resonate even a year from now. You guys, there's a lot of noise. I live in the city and it's currently rush hour. The kids are getting out of school. There's a lot of traffic. People are honking horns. So uh, bear with me and let's get started. So before I get into your tarot reading, I like to draw oracle cards because they kind of give us a overall picture. Sorry. They give us an overall picture and understanding of what's going on right now in your life and the energies that you are right now facing. Um, we have the darkness oracle card. That's your recent past. Okay. It could be a year ago. It could be um, a month ago. But you were in a dark point in your life, Pisces. I feel like this could have something to do with your career choice, um, a job that you had. You were feeling not sure of where, where you were going, um, where you were going or where you were coming, really. And you just kept praying and you kept really trying to find that light um, at the end of the tunnel so that you can grow. And you realize, which is your current energy, that you had the will inside of you to grow. And that's why we have the will card and we have the growth card. So that was definitely, um, you know, you did a lot of soul searching and you bounced back and you realized in order for me to, to be able to get out of this darkness, I have to have that will to fight. I have to have that will to conquer, to get over this dark period of my life and you did and you are currently growing you are transforming and you really truly feel it's almost like you feel like the earth moving from underneath you you're starting to see a lot of synchronicities you're seeing numbers 444 555 10 10 10 you really are feeling like the earth literally moving inside of you around you you just feel this current growth of things a lot of ideas new ideas coming to your mind i feel like there's a lot of inspiration a lot of passion and um i just see you having a lot of passion right now to start new things um to start new ways to get rid of the things that are not no longer serving you that could be bad habits like shitty eating um maybe working out more it could also mean that cutting out the people in your life that just bring negativity drama and i do feel like that's what's happening right now that is the energy right now that you are currently facing uh let's get into your tarot reading so the first card i have is the page of pentacles so as I said, you are currently growing and that's earth right there. When we see a pentacle, it's earth and earth is grounded. So I definitely feel like you have gotten to a place where you are grounded um, emotionally, mentally, financially. It could be even in your love life, you feel grounded um, and you are very, very focused on your future right now. And the reason why I say that is because we have the three of wands here. And you're looking at the overall picture of your life and I do see, I see the Wheel of Fortune as your next card, which means if you look at a wheel when it turns, um, whatever's on that wheel, whatever's not supposed to be there is gonna fall off that wheel and whatever's meant to be will stay. And it looks like things are looking up for you, things are turning around, especially after this darkness thing that was going on, this period of your life. Um, you are seeing things change. You are feeling things change. Um, you know, I definitely feel like there's opportunity happening. Um, you see all these doors opening. You feel people um, gravitating towards you. In your love life, you could be dealing with someone. It could be a, a woman or a man. I, this is energies, the energy that I'm reading here. So we have the, the Queen of Wands. Okay, so this queen right here, she, you know, when we see a queen in a tarot reading, this person is, we could look at this as the highest, uh, the, uh, the higher self, the, the best 
the best version of you or the best version of the person in question. You are dealing with someone who is either a fire sign, it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone who has a lot of fire in their chart. Or you simply could be dealing with someone who is in charge of manifestation. That wand that's in her, her hand is all fire. She knows what she wants. She knows how to get it, how to um, maintain it, and how to, to make other people um, also grow from whatever it is that she's manifesting. So you're dealing with someone who is leveled up and you feel the same way because then we have the, the we have the the ace of wands here and this is spirit coming in and opening those doors for you um this is also your energy for this person that's this queen right here you feel like you can build with this person you feel like together you can build and that's why we have the ten of cups here okay so this person that you're dealing with this person that you're involved with or will be involved with um, is someone who you feel you can have a life with. So this person is someone that you can see yourself having children with, someone you feel like you can build your finances with, start a business with. There's definitely, um, this person fills your cups. When we see cups in a tarot reading, that's all emotion. Um, it's all water. It could be dealing with a water sign as well. So that's Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Or it could just simply mean that this person and you are, there's a lot of emotions, a lot of emotions. And there's a lot of, um, both of you see each other as you both can grow from it. And as I said, we did have, as the second card we drew, we did have you looking over, you know, just your overall life and really just like, how do I want things to go? Well, with this person, you definitely see you can grow and you definitely feel like you can manifest a whole bunch of shit because I do see a lot of wands here with this person. Um, your obstacle for this month, the time being, um, is we have the two of pentacles in reverse. Okay, So this card tells me that um, when I see this card reverse, I just see you having a hard time making decisions. I see this decision being something that kind of throws you off. Um, and I feel like it's because we have the Seven of Cups coming after that. Um, I feel like there's a lot of options that are in your face right now. It could be a lot of temptations. This card could be, there's many ways you can view it. This can be a lot of great opportunities, but it also would be disillusioned. This could also be maybe you could, wanting certain things or wanting to do certain things or making hasty decisions because they're in your face right now but it doesn't mean that spirit is saying go ahead and do it um i do feel like you need to keep in mind that um you know you have to you have priorities and if you feel like something doesn't feel right don't um you know kind of take off the foggy glasses and really face the music and say okay this is um you know, this may feel good for the moment. Don't make any hasty decisions because after you, you might realize it really wasn't worth it. So if you're thinking about traveling right now, um, if you're thinking about making a big purchase, I think this is Spirit's way of saying, um, think about it. Really think about, is this gonna benefit you in the long run? Um, is this something that you truly want to do right now? Is Does it feel right? Um, you know, look at it from a, a, a point of, a perspective of where you're not there's not really an emotional thing or um i would say the word i'm trying to i'm looking for is a, a, an impulsive decision don't make any hasty decisions right now we then as an obstacle as well we have the eight of swords okay so this could be someone you're dealing with or your energy this is all about uh, really just taking off that blindfold and that thing that she has, that belt or whatever that has her, her hands bound behind her and really facing the shit, like really looking at the things that you need to change in your life, cutting out the things that don't, that no longer serve you. And I do see, I, I do see you doing that, but we are human and we do tend to let little negative things seep in sometimes, even though we know they're not healthy for us. So I definitely think that you, when it comes to making decisions, these de de decisions that I see you having a, a trouble making, um, I think definitely think it's about you letting go of those old ideas or ways of doing things. And if you are an impulsive person, I think this is a time where you really need to um, 
really let go of that impulsive nature and take off those glasses and really see things for what they are and think about how it's going to affect you, you know, not tomorrow, but maybe a week from now or a month from now, however that resonates. Um, the next cards I'm going to be reading are your um the things that are are great about you that you should acknowledge the things to embrace about your energy um this is kind of your pick me up this is the things that you probably already know and sometimes life happens and we forget um so this is what you should embrace about yourself pisces we have the six of wands so this is public recognition sorry guys um this is public recognition this is people recognizing um all of your accomplishments you hitting the finish line you meeting your goals okay you are doing that pisces you are um see those wands that um everyone's holding in this photo in this photo in this card it's passion it's all fire and the reason why you have been able to accomplish the things that you've been able to accomplish is because you have a lot of passion okay um in life what really uh, an idea is sparked with you know it can be an idea but if there's no passion behind it it kind of just falls you know by the wayside and it doesn't really matter but you pisces you have to embrace this that you are a very passionate person and the reason why you get shit done is because you put your heart and your soul into everything you do and people recognize this about you people see this in you um this is what you let this is like coming out of your pores people can see this they feel this and this is something you should embrace um we have the nine of cups here um this is also what to embrace your energy to embrace in this time this guy over here he's very accomplished he's feeling very relaxed he's like i'm chilling you know i got nine cups so it could mean that maybe there's something in your life that you maybe feel like you're missing um, this could be maybe starting a family or this could mean just taking your relationship to the next level. It also could mean, um, I mean, you're definitely stable and you get shit done. You have all these cups and this could also mean maybe you need to focus your, um, your energy into something else, something that may be missing. So you could be also be in a place where you're um, maybe too comfortable. But if you're not in a place where you're comfortable and you're just chilling, this is what you should embrace. Embrace this time where you feel this tranquil, this peace, this tranquility. Take advantage of it because if it feels good, it's because that's you deserve this. You deserve this, Pisces. Another card for you to embrace, we have the Knight of Wands. We have a lot of wands in this, in this reading, Pisces. There's a lot of passion, a lot of passion to get things done, a lot of a passion to manifest these things. And this is you. Um, your energy is very um, young. Um, you have a young spirit. But just because you have a young spirit doesn't mean you see this guy, he's he has armor on. So he's he's ready to go to war if he needs to go to war, if he has to defend, defend shit. So you, Pisces, are <clears throat> you have a young spirit, but you have also gone through some shit. And spirit's way of acknowledging that is giving us this card this is you this is what you should embrace about yourself wear your armor as a badge of of glory of something this is something for you to be proud of okay you are passionate because of the things you've gone through you are passionate because of the you know the the lessons you've learned in your life and this is what drives you forward so acknowledge this about yourself and own that shit pisces um I forgot to read your past cards, but um, we'll get straight into your um, your advice from spirit, and then I'll come back into your past cards. Your past cards um, they validate they validated what we had in the oracle. So, your advice from spirit. We have the King of Cups. That's you, Pisces. Okay you are this is your advice from spirit is to so this king like i said earlier when you're a king you are very level-headed you have people who are depending on you who look to you for advice you have a kingdom to run so this guy over here is very in charge of his he's very in control of his feelings he is creative he is intuitive he knows how to articulate his feelings not only to others but to himself 
Um, so this is your advice from spirit. Spirit saying, you know, keep your emotions in check, be diplomatic, um, but also, you know, you don't also want to be so diplomatic where you know you can't, you're uh, detached from things. So definitely exercise your um, your emotions, but in a healthy way. Um, remember that balance is key. To be this king, there has to be balance in your life, Pisces. Your future card, we have the star card. Sorry. Uh, your future card is the star card. So this is your future. Your future is looking very bright. I see a lot of things being very prosperous for you. I do see new ideas. Um, I see... I just, I feel a lot of, um, like I said, I, I, there's a lot of wands in here. There's a lot of manifestation. And I see all of the things that you've been working on finally coming into fruition. Uh, even if right now you're, there's things that you don't see physically in the physical realm, um, spirit is working on them. Spirit is working on all of these things so that when they finally do come into your life, you will not only embrace it, but you'll be able to sustain it and keep it. It won't be something that just comes and goes. And that's the reason why when we ask for things, it's either not meant for us or if it is meant for us, it doesn't happen overnight. But I do see with the star card, Pisces, that things are... We also have the Wheel of Fortune. That was the third card we got. Things are looking up for you and I see a bright future. I see the stars aligning i see things working in your favor i see this relationship moving on to the next level i see this job opportunity this job change working out for you i see just a lot of abundance a lot of love a lot of everything just great and everything that feels delicious happening for you so that is your advice from spirit that is your future your your advice from spirit via the oracle is to nourishment we have nourishment we have sovereignty we have acceptance and we also have purity okay so these are all this is all your advice from from the oracle okay so with nourishment i definitely see you pisces um your advice from spirit is to Eat healthier, make better decisions when it comes to your diet. That's what I keep, like, that's what keeps coming to my mind. Um, you see this picture, there's like fruits, there's like vegetables, um, and just like, I see health, I see um, things that feel good. I also think this has to do with um, nourishing others, giving love to others encouraging other people to eat healthy, to also live a, a life that is healthy. Um, I see you also, uh, the advice is to keep around people who nourish you. Um, and if there's someone in your life who you feel takes more than they give, they gotta go, okay? Um, this is all about you nourishing your soul, your body, your spirit. This is all about you. In order for you to become this great, king of cups you have to make healthy decisions in everything that you do this could be eating this could even be who you choose to share your energy with um your purity card this is about you also making very pure um your intentions when you speak to someone speak clearly okay speak um that's why i got the king of cups when you wanna articulate your feelings, really think about what you're gonna say before you say them and make sure they come from a place of, of love, a place of um, that you truly care and that it doesn't come from a place where you're just like talking in that moment and you're not really thinking about what you're saying. I feel like you already do this Pisces, but this is your advice from spirit reminding you to speak with purity, with pure intentions, with clear intentions. Sorry about that, guys. Someone called me while I was recording this video, but okay. So acceptance, accepting the things about others that you can't control, accepting the energy that comes into your life, accepting the abundance of opportunities that come to your life. Just say yes. Say yes and say no. Accept that you have to say no to certain things. Then we have sovereignty. This is about being able to govern things from a very 
clear logical perspective this is about you making those decisions that we have you're having a hard time making this is about you really thinking about these things with a clear mind with clear insight so that when you do actually make these decisions they will be ones that will benefit you in the long run um you know as humans we tend to like sorry um we tend to like instant gratification and sometimes instant gratification is exactly what it sounds like it's instantly gratifying and then afterwards we feel empty or we feel stupid and we feel foolish because we made a decision that really didn't work out for us all right um your future oracle cards we have the path we have the path and blossoming okay so these two oracle cards confirm what your tarot cards um, basically tell us. And it's, you are on the right path. You went through this really crappy darkness moment in your life. And you are currently on the right path because you finally have reached a point where you have control of your emotions. You're learning that the things, the way that you were doing things in the past weren't working for you. And I feel like you're making that conscious effort to change those things about yourself. And Spirit is acknowledging that you are on the right path and that you are blossoming and the things that you want, those those plants, those fruits that you want to grow are going to grow and they are growing. That's you, Pisces. We did get the growth card. They kind of look a little like, you know, um, growth and blossoming is the same thing. You are definitely growing and everything that you've been working hard on, all of the things that you want in life, all the things that feel great, they are blossoming and they will continue to blossom if you continue on this path that is one that's healthy, one that is balanced, and one that's overall just good for you and good for your soul and for the people around you in your life, Pisces. Um, I see a lot of love. I see a lot of opportunity. And this is really, this is your energy. This is everything that you've been wanting and it's all happening right before you. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and hit the bell so when I post these videos, you won't miss a thing. I will see you in my next video. Peace, love, and light to all. Deuces!